Tiffany. Thank you for joining me today. Today I will be making a croissant cheese, my own invention. What you will need, one package of croissants, che um, some shredded cheese, whichever kind you like. Um, you, will, you will need a pan big enough to, big enough to hold your croissants, um, a spoon, and scissors if you need help with the cheese. And preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Okay, so take out your croissants. And what I am doing right now is you wanna obviously unroll them. If you have a pack of eight like I do, you'll end up with four croissant cheeses. Two of your croissants. Make sure they match up. They got this much of gold. Take your cheese, open it up. Put some cheese on only one part of it. Again, whatever kind of cheese you like. Okay. That's my first cheese. Now, you take your other part of croissant that matches up. These just things you're bringing to the party. And you just pinch it on the sides like it's a pie crust. So if you like your grilled cheeses extra cheesy, I know I do, you can take some cheese. Okay, this is what my handy dandy says. So you can take some more cheese and just kind of set it on top. Just set it on top. Um, your croissants aren't going to be even, so you want to put the cheese on the bigger one. And just have the smaller one to kind of put over the top. Again, line up the corners, line up the sides. And pinch it like a pie <coughs> You don't want your croissant. One thing I learned last time, the first time I invented this and made it, you do not want your croissant sticking off the edge of the pan. Or else it will burn and it will taste yucky. So, you always want your croissant to stay on the pan, not outside of it. Again, if you're a cheese person like me, sprinkle more cheese on top and just kind of gently press it down. Because if you press it down too hard, it will, it will, um, it could break the croissant, and you don't want that. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, sorry about that. Okay, so my, I am using cheddar cheese because I like the way it melts. Um, on my bread. So, I will show you. You place it on top. It won't line up perfectly with your cheese, but that's okay since the croissant is kind of thick. You can, um, you can kind of stretch it a little bit. Don't stretch it too much or else it'll work. So, I had to get out a knife because some of my croissants were sticking together. If you have to do that, um, ask one of your parents to help you. If the if you have flour on hand, um, like baking flour, then and your dough is sticking to your hands, you can grab some of that. I think I might do that in a minute if it keeps sticking. Got a little chef's bowl with my flour. Okay, maybe that was too small, but I don't care. So, yeah, just kind of, it really helps it so it doesn't stick to you as much. You, But you don't want to just grab a chunk of flour and grab it all over your hands so it's white. You want to just kind of dust it off a little bit. Isn't she cute? So, here's that. Thank you for the Sharpies, Yeah, well, um, they were... Uh, another thing, aside.
I just chicken noodle soup was really good with this. Like I said before, if your things get stuck together, um, use a use a knife. But um, when you do it, don't just go sliding straight across super fast. Otherwise, it will kind of cut a hole in it because it will just drag along. So you just want to kind of go slow, drag it slowly. Okay, I messed up. I put some on the smaller piece instead of the bigger piece, but it will be okay, right? Life goes on. I'm still going to keep pinching it. Like I said before, just pinch it like a pie crust. You just take it, take it, press down. And I'll get, and I'll give it little indents. It looks cute. It not only looks good with it, but it holds the cheese inside of it. Show me how you do that again. You take, you take your dough, and you just pinch it along the sides. If you, and just kind of press down on it, and it'll, and it'll keep going and it will seal up the dough so all your cheese stays inside of it. It doesn't just fall out. I love cheese, so I'm gonna put more cheese on top of each of mine. Okay. So, now that you got your crescent rolls, it depends how big of a tray you use. Depends on how um, how many croissants you have. I use the thing of I use the croissant package of eight. It makes four croissant cheeses. And the next, like I mentioned before, you put them in your oven of 375 degrees. Let me get out my oven mitt. cheese. There's tons of cheese in there, you can see, because it's all poofy. Um, and I forgot to mention earlier, we didn't have anything here, but anything you like on a grilled cheese, you'll like on this. So if you have any favorite toppings, like pepperoni or different kind of cheese or anything, you can put it on here too. Thank you for watching. Um, the this was really fun to make. I hope you guys try to make it at home sometime too. It was really fun. Thanks. Bye.